Hi, welcome back to Select Obsession. Hopefully you've watched and enjoyed the first few videos on converting your old Honda into an electric hub drive Honda. Today's video will cover the first build. We're going to be going over disassembly of the bike and the first steps in modifying the frame to get it back going. Now if you haven't subscribed already, please do below to keep these videos coming. Now keep in mind, you're going to want to have ordered some parts. If you haven't already ordered international parts such as your hub motor, your controller, your display, your battery, and potentially your wheels, you're going to want to do that. These parts can take anywhere from a month to two months depending on where you get them. Now to kick off the actual build, you're going to need some tools. You're going to need your basic sockets, wrenches, and screwdrivers along with angle grinder, cutoff wheel, uh, sanding discs and grinding discs. You'll also need a drill, and in my drill I'm using a 5 8 metal bit. I'm also going to be using a Dremel to get into some of the tighter spots. So, let's go over the actual frame. In the disassembly, we're going to want to disassemble everything. So that includes all of the suspension parts that are in here, your, blade, your brake parts need to come off, all of your headset parts and fork need to come apart. Basically, all of the parts need to be completely disassembled. Your swing arm needs to come off. Uh, the covers for this back area right here need to come off that hold the shocks. Any old lighting parts and your gas tank need to come off. Now, before I take some of these parts off, I do make some marks. These will allow us to better drill holes and make the cuts. So one of the main holes that I'm, we're going to drill is right in here. And this will allow us to run all of our wires forward for our switches and our lighting, also for our display. Now I mark where the frame and the fork meet. You do not want this hole to be on this side. It will pinch the wire. So I put a mark there ensuring that when I drill the hole that it's behind here and we're not going to have any pinch issues. So I mark my gas tank all the way around with a pencil. The reason being is we have to cut the top of this out of the frame right here. This allows our controller and our wiring and all of those parts to come up through into the gas tank easily. Now let's disassemble the bike and then we'll talk about what cuts you actually need to make. Now when you pull the fork apart, don't lose these bearings. They're, they're loose ball bearings and it's really easy to lose them. So do it really carefully on a clean surface and then throw them in a baggie. So I finally got the frame apart. Of course there's always something with these old bikes. I had to drill a few of the screws out, cut a few off, but it's apart. So the specific modifications you're going to have to make to the frame, the fork, the swing arm, and the gas tank are as follows. So the swing arm, as you can see, we cut off this back piece right here and ultimately ends up looking like this. This allows us to slide our rear wheel in. On the gas tank, now be careful when you cut this. I typically fill mine with water, but you're going to cut out the top of this gas tank and this allows you to slide your controller and other electronic components in there. You'll also need to cut out right here in between these mounting tabs. On the fork, it's really optional. I typically cut off the lock. Right? This is the lock bracket because I don't use this lock. But aside from that, this is good to go. Then on the frame, now again, if you're going to do a weld on battery box, you're going to need to cut off these areas right here so you can slide your battery box in. You will need to cut out this little area for your charge port. Then on this side, you're going to have to drill a hole in here, that 5 8 hole, and this allows you to get your wires from the front to the back. As we already discussed, you cut out this area right here, again, to get all your wires into your gas tank, then up front. So up front, I drill a hole right here, and this allows you to get your wires down this down tube to have a really clean look. Now once you drill this, this hole, if you can't get all the way through into here, 
you're also going to need to drill a hole from this direction to get those wires into here and then ultimately make it down, uh, down the frame. Now other optional things you can do, now I cut these tabs off on the side here, weld those and fill them. I cut off all the old uh, intake and air cleaner uh, ports, top and bottom, clean that all up. And if you want to cut off the brackets on the side, so this bracket right here and this brake bracket, I cut these guys off because we don't need them. But don't cut off these long skinny pieces because this is what your side covers actually bolt into. You want this for your spring, so be careful, don't cut this. Now I'm gonna get to work cutting all these and I'll show you when I'm all done. And when you get to the gas tank, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult. So the top, when you cut this top, it won't just pop out. You actually have to cut the bottom also. And then there's some brackets inside there that are really hard to see. But I'm gonna get in there with my Dremel and some cutters and cut those brackets. There's four of them. It'll allow this top to slide back out. All right, so I was able to reach in there and cut two of those brackets and then pull the top open. Now I'll be able to get inside the, this gas tank and cut those other two brackets, grind those down and clean it up. All right, so I got the hole drilled in the front of the frame. It's not an easy one. I had to work it from both angles. So I drilled in this direction and then came around and drilled from this direction. Now I just have to grind it a little bit to clean it up so it's not sharp. I was able to do all of the cutting, grinding, and sanding. So let's review it all. I did the top and bottom of the gas tank. So basically the controller will fit in there. These two holes right here line up so I can get all of the cables through here. Remember we did the hole in the frame so you can get the power forward and the brake lights back. We cut off some extra tabs for the old brake light and resistors up front. We cut off the air box pieces that we didn't need. We drilled the hole right here that goes in the frame so the wires can come out and then go back into the back. We cut off the lock on the fork and then the swing arm here, we were able to cut the back out and clean that up. You just need to make sure you take your time and these are all parallel and they look good. One thing I forgot to mention earlier is there's an old brake bracket in here that we cut off. So that's the basics of it. You can do some additional filling so if you're not going to do uh, rear tail lights that stick out the side, you can fill those. But we are going to do some sandblasting and we're going to do some bondo work on the frame. So we will do some additional filling uh, a bit later. Next up, we're going to talk about batteries and battery boxes. We're going to show you the previous box that I built and then the new box that bolts up. We're going to go from A to Z on how to build one of these. It should be pretty cool. But until next time, have a good day.